Hello there, and welcome to another Star Wars toy review. This is Commander 3636. Appreciate you joining me here at Commander's Corner. Today is the 13th episode, and we're gonna be looking at Darth Maul, the Phantom Menace himself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, and we'll uh, begin by looking at the packaging. And here's a closer look at the packaging. This is from the Saga Legends, uh, the Legacy Collection, of course cool uh, stormtrooper card in the back and there's Darth Maul wielding his double bladed lightsaber looks a lot like the, the Maul that uh, did the attack at, on Tatooine uh, when he uh, when Qui-Gon told Anakin to duck <laughs> so really cool picture of him and of course this pack uh, toy came out in 2008 and here are some of the ones in the back that Hasbro has released as well have a clone trooper officer of course a uh, Darth Vader there you know Darth Maul that we have here in our hands this Jango Fett that I have reviewed in a, uh, a different video you know and just some of the other ones you guys can pause it if you want to look at them and yeah he includes battle gear which uh, I like it because it has like this little box that has a bunch of spare guns and just a quick thing here, Apprentice to the Sith Lord, Darth Sidious, Darth Maul has undergone years of demanding and brutal training to become an incredible warrior for the Sith. After expertly wielding his lightsaber to prove his skill, he bows respectfully before his master. And there he is holding his lightsaber. And now we will take a closer look at the figure. And here is the Darth Maul figure, of course, comes with the cloth good, the lightsaber, and if we actually just take this off here, we can take a closer look at the design there for his dual wielded saber from the episode one. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an okay lightsaber. I mean, I, I have this one that you can actually detach it in the middle. This one you can't, it's just one whole piece. I mean, I guess it's easier to not lose it, but uh, you know, not the most detail oriented. This is the one it comes with though. Um, you know, I do like this patterning here. The cloth goods, shiny gloves, shiny boots. Very detailed though for the boots, you can see. And this is, uh, of course, closer look at his face here. Dathomir, son of Dathomir, of course, he's a male Zabrak. And a really cool character, you know, really sad that they killed him off so early, but of course he did redeem himself in the uh, animated uh, media. Uh, you know, the Clone Wars and the Rebels, so if you want to catch him, definitely t check those out. And of course, uh, you know, he also comes out a little smidge. The actual actor Ray Park did a cameo of, of uh, Darth Maul in the Crimson Dawn at the end of Solo, Star Wars Story. So if you guys haven't seen that already, uh, there's a really cool clip on it on the internet. And just kind of more of his armor. Of course, articulation, he does have a swivel head, uh, swivel shoulders. And his elbows uh, only swivel, they do not, there's no ball joint for them and no, no articulation on the wrists either. And only this forearm uh, swivels, by the way. This is the only one that does. This one over here does not, only the shoulder does. Uh, he does have some swiveling here on the hips and some swiveling here on the legs. Right there, and I do like that his knees do bend, so you can put them in different poses. And that's quite about it. Yeah, Darth Maul, Saga Legends, you know, just, uh, I know they're gonna be releasing a uh, one from the Vintage Collection, I believe. Uh, you can pre-order it, uh, but it's not out yet. Obviously, it won't be out till later in the year. Uh, but, you know, just my all-time favorite character, uh, you know, and uh, this was when he was Darth Maul, as later he just became Maul, since he did not affiliate himself with the Sith, so. But just wanted to share that with you guys on the 13th episode here. Darth Maul, so yeah, you know, pick him up if you uh, get a chance. I still recommend him, uh, because he does come with the uh, battle gear. That comes with a lot of guns that I've actually used for a lot of my Stormtroopers. 
do like the uh, cloth goods and uh, you know, I still think there's some good posing going on down here. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, stay tuned, I'll be having uh, a couple more uh, Sith figures later on. So until then, take care, you know, may the force be with you and I'll see you soon.